Hey everyone, so uh, to celebrate my monetization being back, I'm going to do a little collection video. So, um, we're starting off at my super cluttered workbench here, full of custom stuff, fodder parts, knives and brushes and files and paints. And I have a box full of hands and various arm pieces and this is my head box. There's some sandpaper there. Little Moira sneak peek right here. And the remnants of a Cal Kestis here because I needed his hair piece for um, the base for Moira's hair. Okay, so moving on, we have some uh, unopened legends over here. Some Star Wars Black Series I haven't opened. Not really sure if I ever will, to be honest. Some more fodder on the ground over here. Don't really have any use for it. More fodder here, and then um, in here we have um, some random stuff, fodder, even more fodder, and um, yeah, some Figma stuff, no, figure art stuff over here, and then let's go to the shelves. So this is my... I don't really know what this is, like my monster shelf. That's Eddie from Iron Maiden right there. Uh, we have some um, San Diego Comic-Con NECA turtle boxes in the background. Mainly because I didn't want to throw them away because they're, you know, exclusive and all that. We have a, uh, I think it's Jack Pacific Aku from um, Samurai Jack, obviously. Then we have the McFarlane Toys Drogon, which uh, I got as a present. Don't really have any special like huge want for it but it's there and it's pretty cool looking then we have the NECA Rodan we have the NECA Godzilla which I repainted a little bit I made his eyes look better and I uh, sculpted in some more teeth and then there's my repainted Mothra and um, the antenna are also customized a little bit really happy with it we have some cool Blizzard Steins over here, along with a signed Dragon Slayer comic book. It's signed by Matt Burns, the writer. So here's my Lord of the Rings stuff. Everything here is by Toybiz, I believe, except for the Legolas figure, which is uh, Bridge Direct. Uh, Bridge Direct, who made uh, the Hobbit line. I found the likeness to Orlando Bloom being the best one out of all of the available figures, and Toybiz never really nailed his likeness. They didn't really nail Aragorn either, but I think that's probably the best looking one. Even though it's a bit it's crappy looking. But like, look at that Ian McKellen, that's like spot on. Also, sorry for the light. It's uh, The lighting in my room is really bad, so I have to put on the camera light. And here we have uh, the, uh, the Funko the Hound in the background, who I customized. Pretty much everything I have is customized to a certain degree. Uh, Barbosa there, for instance, has a repaint. Uh, Jack Sparrow is a complete custom. I have a video of him on YouTube. Here's my Planet of the Apes customs. Well, Maurice isn't touched up at all, but Caesar is. He doesn't have any war paint. Uh, David Jones there, who I never actually got around to making a showcase of, but uh, he's very, very much customized. There's the... Diamond, no, who made that? I think it's just like Dark Horse White Walker in the background. And then um, Neca Hagrid, who I really wish had his big brown coat. And here are the Neca Pan's Labyrinth figures. I love this movie. It's Guillermo del Toro is a genius, and I just had to have these figures. I don't really care about the Pale Man though, but. Um, Ophelia and the fawn. They're brilliant figures. Moving down to my horror slash movie stuff. Actually, it's sort of my horror shelf, I guess. Uh, Ultimate Terminator figures. So a couple of Predators. I don't really collect Predators, but um, I like the first movie quite a lot. And then NECA has made some really nice looking designs. Which I know aren't really their own. They're from like comics and whatnot, but still, the Elder from Predator 2 is in the background. He's one of my favorite designs. 
then I think that's like the the clan elder of Predator, and he was uh, deemed like the ultimate big boss type of Predator, so I just picked him up. He's worth like a lot nowadays, I think. Then the Xeno Warrior Predator, I just really like his mask, I think it's really cool looking. Then uh, there's uh, Ahab Predator, who I think is genius. I really like the Moby Dick concept of him having this one prey he really wants. Uh, in the back here is uh, the Lord of Darkness from um, Legend, played by Tim Curry, the greatest actor on the planet. And um, here we have my custom Ash from Ash vs. Evil Dead. Then uh, the Jin from Wishmaster. Neca Pinhead, who is going to get replaced very soon by um, the ultimate Pinhead, uh, from also from Neca. I have him in my Big Bad Toy Store pile of loot, but uh, I'm still waiting for a couple of things. Michael Myers from the new movie. Still, I think I painted the mask a little bit. Bear in mind, this horrible lighting is like remove making everything look like garbage. So I'm sorry for that. Ultimate Freddy Krueger. Ultimate Leatherface. Customized Candyman figure over there. Then we have... Um, Chucky and Tiffany. Chucky's head is customized. We have a little Sam thing here. I think it's like Mr. Minis, I think. And uh, he's also going to get replaced by the ultimate Sam by NECA. Can't wait for that. Then we have NECA Pennywise version 2. And um, the remake Pennywise. Oh yeah, and... Um... <laughs> we have... Courage, the cowardly dog. There is, I, I don't, I don't really know. I just felt like picking him up, and he fits so well in with all these horror legends. I, I just thought it was hilarious. He's actually a pretty neat looking figure. Moving down, here's my Muppet stuff, all by Diamond Select, except for this Cookie Monster here, which is Bandai's. No, it's uh, it's either Bandai or Medicom. Or is it the same? Does Bandai own Medicom? I'm not really sure. But uh, it's uh, it's called an ultra detailed figure. And um, I really like the Cookie Monster. And I wanted him. So he was the only thing in scale pretty much. A lot of accessories here. Almost too many. And uh, there's Freddie Mercury and um, Jareth from Labyrinth. Who is obviously David Bowie. And I didn't really have any other place to put them, so I just put them together by the Muppets so they could be like celebrity guests, I guess. But uh, I wanted to put them together because Under Pressure is one of the best songs in the world. Okay, gotta move. So here, starting at the top, here's my anime stuff. A lot of Dragon Ball. Uh, mostly figure arts, except that Jack's Dende over there. And um, that, this King Kai is, I think it's like a Spanish statue or something? No, no, wait, I think it's Italian. It says that the... D-E-A, made in China. But I think it was some sort of Italian company. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, Piccolo there is very customized. Go and has a custom head. That's the first edition cell over there, who is quite pricey nowadays. Uh, really wish they made a cell 2.0, like a bigger, uh, more accurate looking cell. Goku has a custom head with a smirk. And uh, Mr. Satan in the back there has a custom faceplate. And Krillin is a Bandai model kit. Uh, we have the figure to Ryuk and Light, who... Um, I really wish they made an elf here as well to go with them, but and I wish Light had his uh, his school uniform, but really really good figures. And uh, we have L in the background there, I think made by some American company. I'm not really sure who made him, but uh, he's he, he's all right. Like he he'll make do. And we have uh, Jax Orochimaru, just because I think Orochimaru is a really cool design. 
Um, we have Goblin Slayer. I really want the entire party, but if I can only have Goblin Slayer, so fine be it. We have the uh, Play Arts. I think it's just Play Arts. Edward Elric with a custom head. Then the Revel Tech Alphonse in the background behind him. They're not in scale at all. But the Revel Tech Alphonse is really nice looking. I'll probably try to track down some other version, but eh, I don't really know. Kurama and Hiei statues from Yu Yu Hakusho in the back there, along with figures of Kuwabara and Yusuke. Kuwabara has a custom face, and Yusuke has his head swapped. And then um, we have Killua and Gon, made by Figma. And then a really lazy custom-made Leorio, just to go with them. I'm sort of missing Kurapika, but I'm not too bothered at this point. Moving down, we have my Autobots. That's Human Alliance, Leadfoot, and Roadbuster, all repainted. All the metal is repainted. And uh, they never made top spin, so in order to fill out the blue, I just added Whirl in the back there, who is also a wrecker in the comic continuity. And uh, he's also repainted. And there's Hound, my custom Hound, who is um, smoking his bullet cigar. Very repainted as well. We have the awful Ironhide. I think it's Generations, not really sure, but yeah, he's pretty crap. I just needed some sort of Ironhide representation. If I could pick one, I would probably go for the the Siege Ironhide, but uh, I'm not too bothered to be honest. We have some sort of movie Bumblebee in the background, and some movie Ratchet, and there's Transmetal. Rat Trap in the background, along with the little Rhinox and Generations Beast. No, Generations uh, Dinobot, I think. Very repainted too. Then we have Animated Weird Al Rekar. And uh, we have the cast of Transformers Prime here. We have Bulkhead, RC, and Ratchet. And here we have Wheeljack from Reveal the Shield. Or is it just Generations? And there's, I, I think this is Reveal the Shield Jazz. Not really sure, he's quite dusty actually. Yeah, that's better. Basically what I'm trying to do here is to just keep one of each character. Like I, I tried to take my favorite iteration of a character so I only have like one Jazz, one Wheeljack. I have two Ratchets because I have the movie one back there. I don't really know why, I think I got them in a lot. Um. Actually, I quite like this gorilla face in the movie. I think that's why I bought him. And then there's uh, the Masterpiece movie Optimus Prime. I used to collect Masterpieces. I had Prime, Soundwave, Starscream, Megatron, and uh, some other ones, I think. No, I think that, that was it, actually. Oh, yeah, Shockwave. No, no actually, that was a third-party one. But um, I had a Quake Wave. But I figure they're they're actually too big and uh, they're really expensive to collect, so I sold them off. I couldn't sell this one because I wouldn't really gain anything from it. I think I would probably actually lose out on money. And um, I don't know. I just really like this figure actually. But I have the C. I have the Earthrise Optimus Prime coming in. And moving down to my Decepticons, we have Generations. I think Waspinator. Uh, Beast Wars Inferno and Beast Wars Quick Strike. And then we have Siege Starscream, who I really regret buying because the Earthrise one looks pretty good. And then we have Transformers Animate. No, uh, Transformers Prime Knockout. He was like the best character in the show. And um, we have a uh, Siege Megatron. I really like this Megatron. I think... I'm not really sure if they're gonna make an Earthrise version of it because it would be too difficult to make him turn into a gun, I guess. So if they don't make one, this one will do perfectly fine. Then here we have Cobra Commander because... Uh, I don't know, I like Cobra Commander and... Uh, they do crossovers with Transformers quite frequently, I think, G.I. Joe, don't they? I don't know anything about G.I. Joe, but I saw a comic once that was a crossover, so I just assume they do. They're not in scale at all, but screw it. We have Siege Soundwave, who I, I repainted his visor 
red, as you can see. It used to be yellow. I just used a sharpie and uh, colored it in. Any sort of like marker like that works if it's red. Then we have the masterpiece Frenzy and Rumble, and the uh, Ravage as well. I kept them when I sold off my um, my masterpiece Soundwave because they fit really well in scale. And they're also really nice looking, and that's Masterpiece Laser Beak as well. Then we have Ejector, I think his name is, from Revenge of the Fall, and he's such a meme. I just had to have him. And then uh, some of my favorites here are Reveal the Shield, Lugnuts, and um, Blitzwing, who are both obviously very based on their Transformers animated counterparts. Like, Lugnut is one of my favorite Decepticons of all time, he's so great. Along with like uh, Shockwave, who um, I'm also waiting for. I'm waiting for the for the Siege Shockwave. So here's my Disney stuff. We have uh, Diamond Select, Oogie Boogie, Neca, Sally, Rebel Tech, Jack, and some. I don't know who made this Mayor figure. I, th I think it's some Japanese company, but they made them. I think at the same time as Neca was making their figures. Uh, he was the best looking mayor figure I could find. And then there's the NECA Lock, Shock and Barrel in their boss tub. And continuing with Tim Burton, we have McFarlane Toys Bone Jangles from Corpse Bride in the back. And there's Diamond Select Pete. Um, we have uh, Bring Art Sora with a Diamond Select Keyblade because I wanted the normal Kingdom key. We have Figure Arts Donald with a custom painted, with one custom painted eye because I want him to look forward with his beak closed. And we have my favorite right here, Goofy. Gorsh! <laughs> uh, then we have. Um... Oh my god, what's his name? Seriously, what's Jack's dog's name? It's, uh... Oh my god, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, he came with the Revil Tech figure. Um, I think he came with the... With the Santa Jack, and I... I, I... No, wait, this head came with the Santa Jack, so I pretty much bought that solely to get that head, because I, I didn't want the normal, just dead expression. I wanted some emotion to it. And then uh, we have some Inside Out figures I bought when the hype for the movie was high. And uh, some sort of hollow Baymax with very limited articulation, but eh, he'll make do. And we have Rex from Toy Story, Revel Tech, what, uh, Buzz and Woody, There's Slinky. I don't know who made Rex or Slinky, but Ham here is made by McDonald's. I, I just kept him around since I was a kid. And we have uh, the Funko, I think? Disney Afternoon. Uh, Darkwing Duck, uh, Wally, um, that cleaner bot, and Eve. I don't know who made any of these. Uh, I customized the Wally quite heavily though. This rose here is bought at Disney World, I think, or is it Disneyland? Mm. No, I. Th no, I think it's Disneyland actually. And Scrooge here is also the Disney Afternoon figure, but I uh, closed his beak. And Chip and Dale are from uh, the Pete. They came in the Pete b uh, set. And there's uh, a random Pluto figure. I don't know who made them. Moving down, we have my Storm War stuff. We have my knockoff Stormtrooper squadron. Uh, I got them really cheap. Um, I think they were like 10 bucks each from China. And uh, I mean, they're just there for display pur purposes, so I bought six of them. We have my Custom Admiral Thrawn, or Grand Admiral Thrawn. Krennic there in the back. Then we have Phasma and my Custom Vader. It's the Black Series Vader with a um, Bandai model kit head. We have. Uh, my custom Palpatine with Rikor 409 robes, and his head is completely repainted. <coughs> then uh, the Figuarts Mall. 
He stands out a little bit because his proportions are a bit smaller than the Black Series, but he still looks fantastic and he's so much better than the Black Series figure. We have the Tarkin, from, also from the Black Series. I think that's one of the best likenesses they made. He looks so good. And then there's uh, General Veers right behind him. Legend. We have the Black Series Django Fetts. Uh, I think I scrubbed away some of the weird scuff marks he came with. I wanted him to look a bit more pristine because he looks quite clean in the movie. And then we have the Mafex Boba Fett, Empire Strikes Back version. Fantastic figure. He looks incredible. And the Black Series Dengar. I have a Bosk in that pile over there I showed you earlier, but um, uh, I actually had a Bosk unpacked, and then as soon as they revealed the, the re-release of him, I sold him off for quite a hefty amount, and then I just re-bought the new one. So um, I'm, I made some good money on that. And then there's Hasbro Jabba in the background. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a throne or, well, big concrete block, I guess. We have uh, Captain Rex, Kate, what, what's the name of the, Alan Tiddock robot from uh, Rogue One, I forgot his name. We have Figure Arts Chewbacca, Figure Arts Mace Windu, Figure Arts Han, Figure Arts Luke, and then we have the Black Series Luke, who I, I actually sort of prefer this one over the Figure Arts one. And uh, I'll probably try to sell off this one at some point when I can be bothered. Also in the back here is uh, Black Series Ahsoka, who I had to repaint a little bit in her face because she looked really dead and boring earlier. And here's my customized Yoda. And uh, these are the Bandai Model Kit R2... BB-8 and 3PO. I've weathered all of them quite a bit, as you can see, so they're not, they don't just look like white plastic. And uh, 3PO, you can't really see it, but I've smeared like some paint washes on him, so he's not as blindingly gold, but because the light is shine, shown right on him, he looks quite blinding. Anyway, let's press on. Starting at the top here, we have my random comic shelf. We have um, She Spawn. I don't really know her name or any story. I just uh, found the figure really cheap and I thought she looked cool. She was, it was like in one of those really cheap shops with like random objects. And then um, this is the 10th anniversary, I think, or is it 25th anniversary? Spawn with a custom articulated cape. I think it might be Record 409 who made it, but I'm, don't quote me on that. Uh, one thing to note though is that I added ball jointed arms, um, shoulders to him. He used to have normal swivels, but to, uh, that pretty much prevented him from being perfect. So I gave him some custom shoulders and now I think he's absolutely perfect and I won't need the new spawn that McFarlane Toys uh, revealed quite recently because look at this head. It's flawless. That is spawned to me. And then we have Series 1 Clown, who is one of my earlier customs, but um, I think in general he looks the best out of all the clown figures. It's debatable if he's better than the one with the rat, because the rat one has more detail, but I really like the simplicity of this one. And with some washes, his face looks really good, as you can see. Back here we have Lady Death and Cremator, horrible, horrible comic, yet I've read like all of them. Uh, Cremator there is legit a pretty good character though, I like those big, loyal, brutish type of characters. Here are my NECA Turtles. Really happy to have all of these, because um, the live action Ninja Turtles movies, the first two, were um, some of my absolute favourite movies as a kid. And um, yeah. Actually, where are my foot soldiers? 
Oh, my foot soldiers are still in the in the box because I didn't really have any special uh, particular need for them. And there's Usagi Yojimbo in the background. I used to read the uh, the Turtles comics quite a lot, and he showed up there quite frequently in his own little mini stories. So he's got like a little tiny space in my heart. Really good comics. And there's a uh, clown face and his daughter Panda in the background. And uh, DC Direct Movie Rorschach, who is really hard to stand up, but I really like the way he looks. And we have some 2002 He-Man figures back here. We have Beast Man. Uh, we have um, Evil Lin, and we have Skeletor. And uh, we have the Hellboy cast here. Hellboy, Abe, and um, Liz. Along with um, uh, Liv from iZombie, who is repainted, as you can see. Really good likeness, but the original paint was awful. And then we have uh, Constantine and Death, who really should be in the DC shelf, but they're sort of moving around quite a lot, I guess. And um, they, they I, I think they sort of fit in here anyway. Plus, I don't really have much room on my DC shelf. Here's my Marvel Legends display. Most things here are customized, as you can probably tell. Don't really know it's safe. I'm using Movie Doctor Octopus. I like the design more than um, the comic book one. Regular Daredevil, Untouched. We have Shocker here, who is just straight up cool. I didn't really like his new um, Marvel Legends figures, the the Thunderbolts looking one. Typhoid Mara there, custom. Actually, like every, almost everything here is customized to an extent. Mysterio. Uh, Marvel Select Venom. Customized uh, Hobgoblin in the background there. Marvel Legends, Carnage. Black Hat, Untouched. We have Movie Jameson. One of the greatest characters ever. Uh, we have my custom John Romita Sr. Spider-Man. It's the Mafex Spider-Man with a snapshot Spider-Man head. Uh, it's not a straight swap though because I customized it quite a lot. I reshaped it and um, uh, had to touch up the paint. Marvel Legends Green Goblin. I have fixed his teeth. I don't really know if you can see it. We have a very slimy looking and fully repainted Man-Thing in the background. One of my favorite figures, I love Man-Thing, he's great. Untouched Kamala Khan, movie Green Goblin, I love him. Willem Dafoe is a perfect fit. And we have Domino and Deadpool in the background. Movie Magneto and Xavier. Both customized. Magneto is just a repaint and um, Xavier is uh, full custom. Then we have my 90s X-Men team. We have Jean, customized with a new head as you can see. Beast with a new head from um, the Kotobukiya animated 2-pack with Cyclops, I think. And then we have uh, Marvel Select Sabretooth, custom head. He has a smirk now and new teeth sculpted in. We have Magic and... Uh, her brother Colossus from the two pack with Juggernaut. Um, speaking of Juggernaut, I'm using the Marvel Select one. I think it's just a better looking figure. I know the the two pack one sort of looks more to be in line with the rest of the figures, but I really like the way this guy looks. Anyway, uh, we have um, uh, the new white anniversary. I think it's called Vintage Storm. I think. Kitty in the background there is repainted. Jubilee has some minor face modifications. Apocalypse is the bath with a shrunk down Toy Biz head. Repainted. Cyclops, Wolverine. Head swap as you can see on Wolverine. Uh, custom Gambit with new hair from the old Marvel Legends figure and he's got his uh, Toybus arms as well as long as well as the coat. We have the shrunk down 
well not shrunk down, we have the modified uh, shortened Rogue from Marvel Select and um, her half-brother Nightcrawler here. Fantastic figure. I wish it came with a normal head that was just like smirking, I guess. He has one head where he just looks like really stern. I think this one is the one most fitting his personality though. Then we have cloak and dagger in the backgrounds. Well, not in the background, but um, cloak and dagger, they're mutants, right? I like the whole relationship deal they have, but I don't really actually know too much about them. I was going to get into the, the live action show, but I, I sort of forgot about it after the first four episodes, I think. Anyway, moving down to my DC shelf, we have mostly Arkham related stuff here, as well as um, Mafex Suicide Squad Deadshot. I know the Suicide movie is pretty bad, but I, I like Will Smith. And I, th I thought it was really cool looking and entertaining in that movie, so I just picked him up. And he fits in with the sort of gritty, realistic tone here. Mr. Freeze has a custom... Uh, actually, everything. Same as the Marvel shelf, pretty much everything here is customized to, to a degree. Penguin has a new expression. Two-Face is completely repainted. Riddler has a new expression and glasses. He's got, and Mr. Freeze has his classic dome. Scarecrow repainted. Bane repainted. I love the twins here, they're great. Uh, we have um, Copperhead with her rubber body overlay. She's repainted as well. We have a custom classic Harley Quinn because it's my favorite look for her. Uh, it's the new DC Essentials body with my customized head. I think the the top of the head is from the from the the Arkham Knight figure of Harley, and then the face itself is from the Nurse Harley from Arkham Asylum. Then we have my Joker, who is focus, please. Who is the Mattel body with the DC Direct head. I really hope the McFarlane upcoming Arkham Asylum Joker looks better because while this one looks really good for generic Joker, it's also slight, it's not really accurate to the game model. He has smaller teeth in the game model and like a wider smile. But I'm still really happy with this one. We have my customized Alfred, so he looks a bit droopier. We have the Red Hood GameStop exclusive figure, really hard to get hold of, really expensive too. And we have uh, Nightwing, Robin, customized Professor Pig there in the background, some Teen Titans to go with Nightwing. To this day, I still don't really know a good cyborg figure that fit that I really I find appealing, so I just picked this one because it reminded me the most of the animated show. Custom racial ghoul here. It's the DC Universe Classics body with a DC Direct hush head. And then the cape, I think, is from an old Spectre figure from DC Direct. Not really sure which I modified. Sinestro DC Direct head on top of a DC Universe Classics figure. The DC Direct head is one of the better heads they've done, I think. The DC Universe Classics body isn't very good though. I don't really care too much about Sinestro to be honest. I just uh, I saw the movie. I thought Mark Strong was really cool in it, so I just said screw it and made one. Uh, what more? What more? Um, we have the my custom ultimate, so to speak, Arkham Asylum Batman, which is one of my favorite figures of all time. His legs are a little bit too long, I feel, but otherwise, I love the way it turned out. And then we have my DC Essentials Superman, who I like it, but I think he is a little too scrawny. I think the McFarlane one that came out quite recently looks better, even though the articulation is sort of crap on it. Uh, might replace him at some point. We have my animated Harley, um, Harvey Bullock, because they haven't made another Harvey Bullock. And... Um, Harvey is sort of a stereotype anyway, as it is, like, you know, the typical New York cop. So I just put him here with Gordon so he can have some company. Animated Lobo. 
just because I love him. Uh, I used to have the DC Direct logo figure, but I sold him off. I'm just waiting for the Storm Collectibles one now. The Sportsmaster from uh, Young Justice. Uh, pretty alright figure, but he doesn't really fit in. I might do something with him at some point. Probably not. We have uh, Darkseid and his family here. His daughter Grail and um, Calibac. Calibac, as you can see, has repainted eyes. They're not all red like the original figure because I wanted him to look more like his animated version where he had normal eyes. And Darkseid is the Collect and Connect by DC Universe Classics. And then we have Larflees, who is one of the best characters ever. He, um, I used to have the DC Universe Classics figure, but I think this one just has so much more personality. Plus he comes with Glomulus. Then we have some animated stuff. I really wish they made that 6 inch uh, Miss Martian figure they were um, like trying to get funding for. I even chipped in for the funding there, but it never came to be. And we have an animated Metallo. I don't really know. I like Malcolm McDowell. He's cool. Here's my MCU display. As you can see, it's not strictly MCU. It's more like the characters themselves. Because there's my two-pack Hulk. I think that's my favorite Hulk head of all time. I, I like the sort of... Um, he still looks comic booky and not fully uh, real. Like the, um, the famous uh, face-off Hulk. Like, this one reminds me of Marvel vs. Capcom, and um, that's why I like it. We have a custom Nick Fury there, with... Uh, it's actually a McFarlane shaft head, but their likeness was a lot better than Hasbro's Samuel L. Jackson look, so I went with that. Falcon, and then the... Most of these are the anniversary... Movie... M uh, anniversary MCU figures. Red Skull there is a custom head by, it's a shrunk down Hot Toys head which I re-sculpted and um, then painted up. We have the old Return of Marvel Legends Doctor Doom in the background there who's going to get replaced by the new one which I have in my pile of loot at Big Bad Toy Store. Then um, Hela in the background there, I really wish they did more with Hela in the movie franchise. Kate Blanchett was so good. Custom Loki. Uh, Avengers 1 Thor with um, the Marvel Select hair. I still don't... Hasbro still hasn't made a good-looking Chris Hemsworth likeness. I think if you want a good likeness, Mesco is probably the best bet, but... I don't know, that's a lot of money for just a head. And then we have um, Thanos' little group, the Black Order. I really want the new Marvel Select Thanos. I, I want to try to hollow out the helmet and put this head in there because I'm really happy with how it turned out. I um, redid the eyes as you can see. And um, let's see, Proxima Midnight here has a completely repainted face because the original one was based on concept art and looked nothing like the final product in the movie. Korg in the background there. From the two pack with the Grandmaster, or is it the Master? No, it's the Grandmaster, I think, who I don't have on display. He's just in Spock still. But Korg is a legend, I had to have him. And then we have my Guardians of the Galaxy. I tried fixing up this Chris Pratt likeness, didn't really turn out that great. You probably can't even see that I did anything. Then, um, Drax, I don't like that likeness at all. I want the Marvel Select head. And um, I wish I could just put it on, but I, I'm not really that bothered. Then uh, I wish I had a Nebula, but I also don't really care too much. I'll probably pick one up if I find one for cheap. Ghost Rider thrown in there in the background for good measure. My Marvel vs. Capcom 3 inspired Rocket Raccoon. I like it more than in the MCU, to be honest, so I just went with that. And then Groot is repainted. Okay, moving down to my Pride and Joy, my Overwatch shelf. Pretty much everything here is repainted as well. Uh, McCree has all those silver, black and blue highlights painted in, along with 
I did some minor things to the face and all the weapons are repainted too. Hanzo's face is repainted. Uh, that cloud pattern down there is repainted too. Well, it's added, it wasn't there at all in the first place. Genji has a custom sword, a custom scabbard, so we can actually fit the sword, and um, uh, he's just very much repainted as well, because he was lacking a lot of paint details. The San Diego Comic Con Reinhardt is fully repainted, added way more camo pattern to him, and his hammer is also customized to be more accurate to the game one. It's the golden one you can buy with uh, 3,000 combative points. Farah repainted as well. Like the thing is, most of these figures are really good looking out of the box, they just miss a couple of paint details, so I went in and added them. Mercy has fixed up eyes, some more makeup. I really want the Figma Mercy and Farah actually. Not really sure if I want to replace them though, because they're quite expensive. We have the Figma Sinyata, who I haven't touched up at all. Lucio and Tracer. Tracer has the. Um, the Figma visor, or well, goggles, and the Figma chronal accelerator effect coming out of her chest. And Lucio is completely repainted. No, not completely, just like more details added. Reinhardt has some minor details added, some touch ups. As does Anna and Reaper. Soldier is relatively untouched except for his gun. There's the Figma Reaper. In front of Reyes over there. Foreshadowing, I guess, or just... I, I don't know. Uh, Sombra, very... Actually, no, there are a couple of things repainted on her, too. Some black lines and some random details. Widowmaker by Figma in the background. Sorry, uh, repainted gun. And then there's Junkrat, who's completely repainted from head to toe. And these are the um, accessories from the Nendoroid version, actually. I just decided to keep them because they're in scale and they look really good. They're also repainted, as you can see. I don't really know if this counts as part of my toy collection, but I have a whole ton of Figma... Uh, of Funko Pops from Overwatch as well. Basically, what happened was it took Hasbro way too long. It took them several years to announce Overwatch figures and... I mean, Figma did do some stuff, it also took a while, so these were pretty much all I that was available as far as merchandise goes for a good while, so I just picked it up to quench my thirst, so to speak. Sort of regret it, but eh. Oh yeah, the plushies are nice though. Okay, nearing the end here. So here are some Bioshock stuff. They're up here with my Final, fi Final Fantasy things because I ran out of room. But uh, these are the all the original Play Art size, They're not the gigantic Play Art Sky figures. They'll probably make Bring Arts at some point and make this collection here completely useless, but um, yeah, some of these are customized, some of them are not. Sephiroth is customized. He's got a better looking face and more, uh, some lighter hair. Cloud has a completely different face. It's the Advent Children face it's, um, grafted onto the, the default head and he has the shoulder pad from the Advent Children and the um, little cape, I guess, from the Advent Children figure too. And Aerith is a head swap. This is my Funko Pop Songbird, who I completely repainted. Subject Delta from Bioshock 2. Fantastic game, probably my favourite in the series. And then there's my repainted Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. Some more Blizzard stuff. This is my Heroes of the Storm figures. They were really cheap. I like Blizzard. I decided to pick them up. Don't regret it at all. I'm missing Illidan, but... Uh... Eh, maybe I'll pick him up at some point. Sylvanas in the back there. I actually did some voice work for um, uh, the Lich King here in a 
parody series on YouTube like 10 years ago, which reached around 300,000 views. Rick from Splatterhouse with his girlfriend Jennifer. Uh, this was actually one of my first customs ever. It was definitely the first time I, paid, I painted skin tone, and uh, I think it was probably the first time I did something this ambitious with sculpting. I mean, I, I'll call it ambitious for now because it's more than just like, you know, a tiny piece of clay. It's more like the entire face. We have um, uh, Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal, customized as you can see. Death from Darksiders 2, full custom, really proud of him. He also got his sights. Nathan Drake. Um, his head is customized, but the rest is, well, his skin tone and um, head is customized, but the rest is just a uh, stock necker. Atreus from the new God of War, fully repainted. Kratos, also from the new God of War, also very much repainted. Some NECA Team Fortress 2 figures here. I really, I sort of want to go back and pick up the other ones but to complete the team, but they're really expensive now. Not really sure I can be bothered. We have the um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Ezio in the background there. Love that game. We have a shortened Bayonetta and Jean figure. Well, figures. And we have a custom Dante. It's the NECA, uh, it's the NECA figure with a new head. It's actually the Play Arts Kai head, which was already too small for the, for the body to begin with, so... After a lot of modifications, I'm I'm happy with it. I think it looks all right. And then we have Cat and um, Raven from um, uh, Gravity Rush. Really underrated games. Pick them up if you can. And we have my I I don't really know what to call this. Th these two shelves are just like sort of random video game franchise shelves. But this is my little Resident Evil corner. Custom. Uh, Nemesis in the background there with the Moby Dick head on top, uh, Moby Dick head and coats on top of the, um, the, the, the the Palisades body. I also did some custom tentacles and stuff. And we have Mr. X here who actually has a Dolph Lundgren head from The Expendables because uh, he's obviously based on him in-game, so I just thought that would be a neat little thing to do. I mean, the, the head is fully sculpted anyway, but he still has some Dolph features. We have a, my custom Claire Redfield made by Christina Conan. This is one of my favorite figures in my collection. She is absolutely gorgeous. Look how clean that is. I could never do anything like that. Then we have my custom Leon. Uh, basically just wanted an articulated figure. He's a rush job. But uh, I might go back and do something better at some point, I don't know. A liquor. Some dogs. We have Chris from NECA with a very repainted head because the original looks like crap. Toybus Birkin. He sort of works. Well, not really, he's a bit too small, but it's still a pretty good looking figure for the time. Uh, very customized Wesker from uh, Code Veronica. The head is completely re-sculpted from um, the original Palisades figure, and the shades are new. The Hunter from the... I think he came with the Hunter, actually. And there's Neca Hunk in the background. We have Figma Pyramid Head. I made him slightly taller because he's a midget before the mods. McFarlane Solid as Snake. I fixed his eye so he actually looks forward. The original figure just looks straight up to the right, which I don't understand why. We have Revolver Ocelot. Really good likeness, but the, the figure is quite small. Psychomantis in the background there. Repainted his eyes to orange, because that's how they appear in the game. Grey Fox, didn't do anything to him. Fortune, Vamp, it's the Medicom Vamp. It's a, it's a statue, pretty much. There's a zombie, and 
another zombie there to go with the Resident Evil characters. They sh really should be over here, but eh. We have the Joyride um, Halo 2 Master Chief, who is actually in pretty good scale with the rest of them, along with the Heroclix Cortana. I mean, look at it, it's like perfect. And then we have uh, Isaac from Dead Space 2 by NECA. He lights up if you press this button here. The batteries look pretty crap, I think. Uh, and he's holding his plasma cutter. And then we have Parappa the Rapper and Wheatley. Uh, Parappa is from, obviously Parappa, and Wheatley is from Portal 2. We have a customized Sam Fisher. Here, I um, fixed up his face a little bit and painted him black, all black, and gave him a some body armor from, I think it's an Expendables figure. I think it's the same Expendables figure as uh, the Dolph head from this guy came from. Then we have Reveltech, Reveltech. Raiden and um, we have my custom Figma snake who is t um, uh, he's taller than he used to be. This is one of my favorite figures on my collection too. I'm really happy with him. And um, I also re sculpted his bandana and uh, did some paint modifications on his face. God, I love that figure. So here's my Nintendo shelf. We have customized Team Rocket figures. They have old school heads on top of uh, the figure arts bodies. We have the D Arts Mewtwo, D Arts Blast toys with some um, random mini figures here. Mimikyu. Uh, this is a stuffed beware that I put some wire into. To make the arms articulated. Well, it's bendy wire, so you know it's just about, but hey, I love Beware in the anime. He's so great. Then we have Ash, uh, we have a normal Greninja there in the background with Incineroar, who's my main and Smash ultimate. He's absolutely terrible, but I like grapplers. We have Ash there, who's customized to have a smile. We have the. the Pokken Lucario, who is in... I used to have the D-Arts Lucario, but he was really out of scale, like he was huge. And uh, this one is a lot shorter and just fits him better. We have my custom Banjo figure from Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, I actually did a second one of these, of the, of this one as a, as a commission uh, a couple of months back. Uh, Wario, Waluigi... Well, Luigi's actually really hard to get a hold of. He's really rare. Then uh, we have... Okay, so I have two different Mario figures. This one is the figure arts one with a custom head courtesy of a McDonald's figure. And this one is straight up the Jax figure. Um, I feel like the likeness is better on this one, but... I don't... I don't really know. I couldn't really make up my mind, so I just decided to keep both of them. Here's my custom Olimar figure. It's uh, basically the amiibo, which I cut articulation into and re-sculpted the legs for. Uh, anime anime uh, King DDD plush. I love him in the anime. I think he's fantastic. Um, Figma Samus... And Zelda. I wish Figma made an Ocarina of Time Link, because that's my favourite version of him, but I'm just going to keep the World of Nintendo figure for now. I really want a better Donkey Kong than that. Some sort of uh, hollow PVC figure. And the world that's the World of Nintendo Diddy Kong. And here's the entire Star Fox crew. I grew up with the Star Fox 64. Was one of my favorite games as a kid, so I'm really happy to have them all in the in, in uh, these designs. So this is my fighting game shelf. We have the Fulgor figure in the back, but from Killer Instinct by uh, I don't I f forgot which company made them, but the figures are god awful, so don't buy them. Here's Echo from the same company. I resculpted her face. Then we have uh, Storm Collectibles, Heihachi, and Akuma. Fantastic figures. We have uh, Yoshimitsu, 
by I don't know who made him, but it's the Tekken 3 design, which is my favorite. We have Negan from um, McFarlane Toys, who is in Tekken 7, so I just thought it would be fun, plus Negan is, you know, a great character. I haven't really watched The Walking Dead in years, though, but uh, I like Negan. Uh, this is Storm Collectibles Shao Kahn, uh, pretty much a dream figure of mine, and it's amazing. That's the my custom Lord Raptor from Darkstalkers. My Secret Santa present uh, next to him is uh, QB, uh, made by Wes Crayon on the Foosh. And Storm Collectibles Bison. I have a Morrigan statue back here who is roughly in scale. I think Storm Collectibles actually um, got the Darkstalkers license, so I might be able to replace or at least fill out the rest of the cast. And uh, here's a Dudley head, which I never got around to making a body. I have, I have a really bad habit of making a head, and then I never got around to making a body. Anyway, um, Storm Collectibles Ken and Ryu. Ken has a modified face. I um, sort of reshaped his mouth into a smirk, and it's been like that ever since his release, so I think it's permanent, which I'm really happy about. And we have um, Sota Gen. And we have Capcom Queen's Lele, or Sienko, as she's called in the West. And behind her is John Talbain, the werewolf from Darkstalkers. And here's one of my Grail figures. It's um, Storm Collectible Zangief. Love him fantastically. Him along with Reinhardt uh, over here from Overwatch. Some of my favorite figures of all time. And... Uh, on his shoulder is Armika, his student slash fan, I guess you can call her. Really wish Storm Collectibles made a figure of her, but uh, the figure one is actually really good. Storm Collectibles Chun Li, gorgeous figure. And uh, moving down, we have some Overwatch cute but diddlies and backpack hangers. I love all these things, they're adorable. Some more boxes, and here is my um, Thundercats reboot little mini collection. They're all customized. Don't know if the camera can pick them up, but I'm really ha happy with how Chitara turned out in particular. Uh, Panthera looks pretty good too. Okay, so. Uh... Here's some video games. And, uh, oh yeah, and here's some, a pile of boxes I still haven't gotten around to putting away. Well, I have the, the Meta Knight here, un, unopened actually. Might open them up at some point. We have Dr. Claw here, and Mad Cat, whose face should never be revealed. And over here we have my uh, Gears of War collection. Uh, pretty much all of them have a custom in one way. Dom has uh, the, obviously the Gears of War 3 body, but he's got a Gears of War 1 head, and then Marcus has a very customized head. Baird has a customized head, and so on. Here's some random stuff. We have Audrey 2, the Funko Pop from Little Shop of Horrors, one of my favorite movies of all time. We have Neca Leonidas to the left there. Uh, my custom uh, Walter White from Mesco. He's got arti a fully articulated body, and that's um, that's my. Uh, uh, Seymour Krellborn stand in my Rick Moranis figure to go with Audrey 2 there. And then there are some, there's Mr. T from Rocky 3, and uh, Sergeant Slaughter, and Macho Man Randy Savage, The Undertaker, and Kane, some of, some of my favorite wrestlers. I want to pick up uh, The Rock and Stone Cold at some point, but I, I don't really prioritize that that much. Then down here we have the Mesco South Park figures, and um, 
Moreover from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And down here we have some more boxes. So yeah, that was my toy collection. I hope you enjoyed my showcase and um, stay tuned because I have a lot more things coming up. See ya! That was fun.